All right, here are the tarot cards of the week for the pick a card. And here is group one or A, group two or B, group three or C. If you need some time, you can pause this video and let's get started with number one, okay? Gonna make sure I put them down correctly. So number one, we have the Ten of Swords. If you chose this for this week, of course, this card represents betrayal. So something is going to happen this week where somebody or something betrays you. Um, I have a sense it's more so a person that will betray you. For a lot of you in work settings, it will be along the lines of, oh, I really felt like this person had my back and we were good, we were friends. But then they said something to like a higher up or they said something to the other group of coworkers and it goes against what I've said or what I've felt. Um, so for a lot of you, that... Um, kept c coming up for me, so I decided, you know, I wanted to say that. Other than that, just be careful of all other people in your life. Um, especially out of nowhere. Like, cutting you out or calling you out for something. Somebody, just in any form of betrayal, somebody will betray you this week. So be careful about that. Um, try to find ways to prevent that if possible, if you know who this possibly could be. And then for group two, we have the Knight of Coins reverse. So this week, I feel like a lot of you will be <sighs> just not very grounded. I feel like some of you will, like I know last week, a lot of people, the cards, a lot of them, most, all three of them were basically centered around people not like being very much in their head and being stressed out and anxious. And I think for a lot of people, um, that will carry on if you pick this card into this week, where there was a lot of overthinking maybe last week that happened, but this week you're like, okay, I've thought about everything, but now I still don't know how to proceed, how to carry on, how to how to ground my ground myself and be okay in this moment and not be worried about the present moment. So take some time to meditate or do something that makes you happy this week. Something that will make you grounded, okay? An Epsom salt bath. Um, number three, we have the Two of Cups upright. And this is like a lover's soulmate card. So for those who are single, this is a good time to get out there and meet somebody. Uh, if you are with somebody, then this is a good week to go on an adventure with them, go on a nice date, to go somewhere special, or just spend some extra time with them and feel really connected to them and validated by them and vice versa. Yes, I love the Two of Cups. Hope you enjoyed.